stars, comets, and nebulas, oh my. Let's learn about the friends of our planets. Hi everyone, Miss Brooke here at the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum in Escondido, California, where we spark a love of learning so all children can discover their wildest dreams. This month, we're learning all about space, and today we're exploring our solar system with a star-themed craft. Before we get started, let's go over some new vocabulary that we may hear as we're making our project today. In our last video, we learned all about how the planets orbit or circle around the sun. But did you know there are more than just planets in our solar system? That's right, there are stars, comets, asteroids, meteors, nebulas, moons, and so much more. Let's learn about a few. You have probably heard about stars before and even seen them at night when you look up at the sky. But do you know what they are made of? Stars are made mainly of two gases, hydrogen and helium. In the center, or core of the star, hydrogen atoms crash into each other, which creates helium. The energy released by this interaction causes the star to create heat and lots of it. Stars can be different sizes, temperatures, colors, and brightness. The star we know best is the sun. Next up, we have comets. Comets are large objects made of dust and ice that orbit the sun. Most comets were created when the solar system formed over 4.6 billion years ago. That's even older than when dinosaurs were on the Earth. Comets are best known for having long tails made of dust and gas. Lastly, let's talk about nebulas. A nebula is a giant cloud of dust and gas in space. A nebula can be formed when a star dies. A star burns hydrogen to create its energy. And when there is no more hydrogen left to burn, the star can explode, throwing gas and dust into space in the process. This dust and gas can create a nebula. A nebula can also be created where new stars are beginning to form. Now that we have learned about some other cool things in our solar system, let's do a craft to explore them more. Our craft will be making our very own nebula jar. You will need a jar with a lid, tempura paints, cotton balls, glitter, water, and a teaspoon. First, Let's fill about one third of the jar with water. Now, add some drops of paint to the water. Next up, add about one teaspoon of glitter. Using your teaspoon, stir the paint and glitter into the water until it's all mixed in. Now take your cotton balls and stretch them out so they are longer. Add these to the jar until the bottom third is full. We will now repeat these steps using different paint colors until our jar is complete. Add as many layers and colors into your nebula as you like. Wow, that was so much fun learning more about our solar system and making a nebula jar with you. Thank you so much for joining me on this galactic adventure this month as we learned all about our solar system. I hope you have fun exploring at home, at school, and anywhere else you wanna learn about our awesome universe. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And for more museum fun, check us out on our social media and website. Well, until next time, I'm Miss Brooke, see ya.